If you want to bounce some data every time a view is rendered, then View Composer is the way to go. View Composer are widely used for two main purposes. If you want some data to be available on a view whenever it is rendered, you use a View Composer. Or if there is some data you want on every single view, then instead of duplicating the logic everywhere, you can use View Composer. A view composer can either be a callback function or a class method. So in this video, let me give you a very small example of how you can share some data on every view using view composer. So let's get started. Inside app service provider and inside the boot method, I'm going to do view facade and I'm going to use the method composer. It takes in two argument. The first one is the view name. In our case, we are going to use the data on every view, so we can use static for that. And the second argument is either a callback function or a class method. I'm just going to use a callback function. It takes in an argument of view. And here we define which variables to be available in our view. So I can say something like text. In order for this variable to be available in our view, we need to do view width and I'm just going to pass in the name that will be used inside the view which is going to be the same as text and then the value of this key. Let's go to our welcome view and here I'm just going to use dd didum and let's try text. So let's go to the browser and see if we can use this text variable or not. And you can see that it is available in our view. So that is how you can simply use a view composer. I hope you liked the content of this video. If it was helpful for you, kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. If you have any query, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Or if you want me to create a video on some specific topic, let me know in the comment as well. Thank you for watching this video.